there is a particular thing I want to analyze out which I will want you to sit down as you are watching me my encounter with the devil in second heaven about some years ago of us we decided together you might look and say our posting is small can this young man be the one god is going to use to serve there will not be any special person you cannot you will, you will not be expecting somebody to come down from heaven when jesus christ came to the earth as he desired nobody believed it something happens everybody was already asleep i also was sleeping on the particular place on the floor in the torch in that time as i was sleeping something happens not quite long i closed my eyes to sleep then i was switched in the spirit and my spiritual eyes was open my physical eyes was already sleeping but my spiritual eyes was open and all of a sudden i saw a long tall personality that enter into that church so as i was going we were going up in heavens when we get to a particular place in the heaven i saw a star the, the angel was so open my hands and we are going up the head the teeth to the entrance of that place is as big of uh, as a house so the head was big and the uh, gold it was a golden egg so when we stand we are the angel stand at the front of this lion listen to me very well the lion itself knows he just opened his eyes as he opened his eyes as he opened his eyes and saw us number one how did his eyes look like his eyes look like a a dreaded red and the hot fire the eyes when they look like this there is a fear that come inside the eyes when they look at us like this he saw us then he opened his eyes his, he, when he saw the angel he opened his mouth there was a kind of a sign that come when he was opening the mouth was this Push. It's, there's, there's a smoke that when he finished opening the smoke came out of that mouth push yeah look at the angel's face and the angel said let's go in i said ah, in my heart i didn't see anything we just entered the mouth of the lion in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, eternal Lord of ages, the glorious God, the I am that I am, the only one of Israel, the breath of life, the mighty man in battle, the Lord that never changed, the Lord that never failed. The Lord that never destroy. Ipako te fili kambe reba rabia tanzuvi kimberia ande sakada ya. The living love that endureth forever, be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Our Lord, we ask you, Father, that you speak to us in your great dimension. You will open our eyes to see it. You will open our ear to hear the word. We will, we will open our heart to receive the message for this time. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. By the special grace of the living God, I shall be 
uh, talking about my encounter with the devil in second heaven. There is a particular thing I want to analyze out which I will want you to sit down as you are watching me. About some years ago, about seven or eight of us, we decided together. He gathered uh, at a particular church. I was very young at that time. Then I told them that God is leading me to go into 100 days fasting and prayers. And they too, they agreed together with me. In the process, we enter into that fasting and prayer of 100 days and into night vigil. It was with in uh, is in in the uh, accomplished. Let me say in accordance with the with the spirit. Hundred day fasting and prayer with night vigil for hundred days too. Continuously, in this process of our fasting and prayer and prayers, there was a particular day among that hundred days. After we finish our prayer in the morning. We did the naivety in long prayers. Something happens. Everybody was already asleep. I also was sleeping on the particular place on the floor in the church in that time. As I was sleeping, something happens. Not quite long, I closed my eyes to sleep. Then I was switched in the spirit. And my spiritual eyes was open. My physical eyes was already sleeping, but my spiritual eyes was open. And all of a sudden, I saw a long, tall personality that entered into that church. That long, tall personality is full of light, extreme, extreme light. The lighting was so great, very tall. I couldn't see the face, neither can I see the leg. So he walked in into the church where we are sleeping. As he was walking in, my I was a kind of having a fear in my spirit. As he walked in, I found out that it was an angel of the living God. So he came to where I was. As he got there, I look at him. All of a sudden, he said, Come with me. He said, Come with me. I wanted to ask him and say, Come to, to where? But before I open my mouth to say that, he, he dipped his hand inside my heart. He dipped his hand inside my heart. As he dipped his hand inside my heart, he drew out my spirit out. Before I knew anything, we are already going up to the sky. Amen. So, as I was going, we were going up in heavens. When we get to a particular place in the heaven, I saw a star. The, the angel was to open my hands, and we are going up. I saw star. I saw that stars are bigger than what we even thought it was. So I lose lights. We pass through, we move up to uh, uh, we move up in the high speed. Hallelujah. We move off in a very high speed. We pass the star. I saw the moon again. I saw how the moon, moon looked like. I was looking at the moon like this. To look at how the moon looked like. So after we pass it, we keep on going up. Then we get to a particular state. It's as if there is a gate at that place. 
It's as if there is a gate at that place. I don't know how it is. We just entered the gate. And we just landed at a particular place. B. This place we landed in, I cannot say it's a palace. I cannot say it's a city. I cannot say it's a country. It's a very big place. But every place in that place was full of gold. Now listen to me very well. Every place in that place was full of gold. The gold I saw there was shining gold. The angel keep on, she, he hold my hand, and we are moving. As we were moving, I saw some pillar. The pillar was gold. He didn't see it. I said, Lord, where is this place? He said, this is where they call second heaven. I said, second heaven. He said, yes. Then we keep on going. So he didn't talk with it. I didn't talk. Then after a long walk, we get to a particular gate again. But this time around, this is the only entrance to enter into the inner gate. In this entrance of this gate, the gate looked like a golden head of a lion. You know a lion, when the lion is doing place, a lion head like this. The body was not there, but the head of the lion alone, the head, a very big head of a lion. The head was a gold egg. But you can see that it's a lion. And the lion is, I can say it's a live lion. But it's only head that was there. The body was not there. But only head was the head. Then he has a very big teeth. The big teeth is as large as, let me say, is as big as a part, let me say, a house. The head, the teeth, to the entrance of that place is as big of, uh, as a house. So the egg was big and the uh, gold. It was a golden egg. So when we stand, we are the angel stand at the front of this lion. Listen to me very well. The lion itself knows. He just opened his eyes. As he opened his eyes, as he opened his eyes and saw us. Number one, how did his eyes look like? His eyes look like a, a dreaded red and the hot fire. The eyes, when they look like this, there is a fear that comes inside the eyes. When they look at us like this, he saw us, then he opened his mouth. His, he, when he saw the angel, he opened his mouth. There was a kind of a sign that come when he was opening the mouth. It was this. When it's, there's, there's a smoke that when he finished opening, the smoke came out of that mouth. Push. Then I look at the angel's face. And the angel said, Let's go in. I said, ah, In my heart, I didn't see anything. We just entered the mouth of the lion. When we entered the mouth of the lion, we burst out inside a palace. That is the palace where the satan was sitting down now please and please i want you to listen very well and carefully inside this palace i saw the devil sitting on the throne you that you think that the devil is evil is uh, is having a horn like this like the way they draw it is having on is having a big teeth is having is a lie it's a big lie he wasn't having all those things. Lucifer, the devil, was very, 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 very handsome. His handsomeness was, I have never seen anyone on this earth as handsome as he is. As he is. I have never seen any person, body, in this earth that is as handsome as he is. He has a long hair. The long he showed his, his, his shoulder, his back and shoulder, a long hair. He was yellow. But his yellow is not like a white person. So you that are thinking that hey, they are white, uh, they are the one that is able uh, white white people like uh, white uh, Americana or US, these white people, you are the, that India is like, as white is a lie. 
in the the the, the, the Lucifer you see he did he is not white like the white people it's not that he was it's like an African face but not completely African face but let me just say the the color is different very yellow and lighting yellow yellow of lighting and glowing yellow so he was sitting on the seat he was the one sitting at the center at the high eyes throne that was where he was sitting now when i enter the angel told me said this is the dragon the devil and the Satan himself. I said, ah, so I look at him. He looks very young, not old. Lucifer is not a old man. He looks very young and very beautiful. But he is evil. Now, listen to me very well. When I look at the devil, the angel disappeared. And he, he left me there in that palace. So I didn't know how they didn't see me. I didn't know how. But when I was standing there, he couldn't see me. So I ate, I go, I walk freely in that place. I just walk in. Beside, as the devil is sitting like this at the center of that place, beside him, they are, they are sitting managers. They are other people sitting on the throne too. Other, a, a, other demonic identity sitting on the throne. Women are there. I see a woman demon sitting there. A man demon sitting there. A different kind of eye in ranking demon. They are sitting on the throne by his right hand. And there is another ranking demon too sitting on the throne by the left hand. So I enter when the step was sitting like this. Beside him, there is a particular room here. There's another room here. So room, room in the right, room in the left. There is a door there. So I, I went there into that door. I opened the door to see what is inside there. At the right hand, when I open his right hand door and I look and peep, I saw that. <laughs> That place is like a stadium world. Now, do you when I say stadium world, I mean when they use a whole world to make a stadium. The way stadium usually make a circle like this, like a tunnel. The same way the place was, it's like a tunnel. The tunnel was a circle, 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 circle. And that circle go down. The circle reach the way it. The circle eats the air fire. The circle go down that throne of that tunnel. He reached the air fire himself. So and they were on that on that on that tunnel. There are a lot of demons, uncountable demons. I can I cannot qualify them with millions. I cannot qualify them with billions. Let me just say billions. Otherwise, I will say I can't condemn. Billions of demonic identity. The are demon that has a has three head here, yeah. one body. The are demon that has one head, different body, maybe two body, three body. The are demon that has seven, seven, eight, twenty-one heads, with one hand, with one leg. The demon that has only faces. He doesn't have eyes. He doesn't have eyes. He doesn't have hand. He doesn't have anything. From head to toe, his eyes, his, his mouth, just mouth, 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 downward. The demon that only eyes was on the body. Eyes, 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 the whole body. They are different, different demons. They are demons that are very short. They are demons that are very high. They are demons that are in different sizes. They are shapeless demons. They are demons that look like water. They are demons that look like liquid. They are demons of different identity. They are demons that look like a mad person. They are demons that look like a rubbish. They are dirty demons. They are clean demons. Different kind of identity of demons. They were all sitting down. 
ran in that tunnel. And that is why we usually send it to the Christian that demons are more, 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 more than human beings on earth. That is why a woman being can possess 21 demons. A woman being can possess 1,000 demons. A woman being can possess 2,000 demons. A woman being can possess 6,000 demons. A woman being can possess 12,000 demons. Now listen to me. The demon that Jesus Christ cast out that day, that is called legion. Do you know the, the meaning of a legion in English? Legions means 6,000 to 12,000 demons. Around the age of that, let me say 4,000, upward to 12,000. Some are saying 24,000 in legions. Now listen to me. If they say a legion is not living, it's saying we are legions. Now, a legions are a part, let me say, a country of demons living inside a person. You cannot imagine a country living inside a one person. That is what they are. Now, if one person is having one uh, legion, do you know how many legions we have in the head? Do you know how many legions we have in the head? And so on and so forth. No, now, when I leave that place, I was shocked. Then I left and go to the left one. To the left door, I open it again. I saw the same tunnel again, another tunnel again, the same way it was. The tunnel too was, the tunnel was landing to the head too. Listen to me very well. Now look at me. The are demons I saw that are special demons that I might want to mention them now. I will only mention about two of them and I will keep quiet. Probably next time we continue the message. But these two I'm going to mention will be of great benefit for you to know. Now listen to me very well. Among when I was searching these rooms, there are some demons that was coming out from that rooms. They will go out and they will come back. The demons are there are some also areas of demons whereby they are gushing into the head. There is a particular place they are entering the head. They are rushing there. Like more than 500,000 demons can enter the head on the day. Daily places. Pa, 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 pa. They are entering and locating every area with different, different assignments. They are going inside the churches. They are going inside the monks. They are going inside the, uh, the schools. They are going inside hospitals. You see all those doctors and nurses fear them. Before you will see a doctor and nurse that is not into courtes or is not having a demon or something, it, you, will, you, will, you will try. But I'm not going there now. They are entered into different places. And now, there is a particular place too that these, these white people are consulting demons for latest updates of everything they want to create like technologies. All these new technologies you are seeing is not by idea. It is an alien demon that is giving them these technologies. Listen to me very well. Aliens, you are the one calling it aliens. They are demons. You see aliens, aliens are into the world. Aliens, it's, they are demons. You are the one that transformed their name to aliens. They were what? They are demons. And these demon falling demons, they are the one giving a new ideas and technologies systematic to the government and to this thing. So that is why technologies is advancing every day because they keep updating after sacrificing what they ask them to sacrifice. So people to become a popular technologist, he will go and give his soul or give his own soul in exchange for a latest update. Now, if they say this thing is there, AI is there, this and they are there, don't be deceived. They are not ordinaries. Now, 
That is not where we are going to. Now, when I was there, there's a particular demon going out. I look at that demon, the right anger. If you look at the way the spirit of anger looks like, you will never be angry in life. Very ugly. Very ugly. He's short, very short, big. He's like somebody who is big but short. He's so short that you can even knock his head. And having big head and the right anger. So any Christian in the world, any believer in the world, anybody in the world, any anybody in the world that commits anger, this demon is inside them, not outside. Inside. If you see anyone that when he's angry, you'll be shining eyes like this, you'll be angry like this. You know, you beg, no matter how you beg him, you will still be angry. Such a person as fully getting con they have, the demons are controlled, have completely dominated his life. Now, and another thing I want you to understand is this in this second level, they are in the Michaels, in the Gabriels, in the Ures. All the names of the angel that is working with the with God Almighty is also working with the devil himself. So now, how did it happen? Why are they named this name? Listen to me. Now, when they said there's in the market or in the Bible or in the Union or whatsoever, the act there's a particular axe angel that is bearing in the market. There's a particular angel bearing in the market. And that axe in the market is called axe in the market. That axe in the market was the one leading his team. And axe in the market has his own team too. All his own team too were bearing in the markets. Are you listening to me? All the teams of that angels, in, uh, the axe in the market, his own team is a follower. Because all of them have their own department. Department of in the Michael, Acts in the Michael is a department of warrior, war. They have to go to war and, and have war. So all the department of in the Acts in the Michael, all of them are all buried in the Michaels. More than millions. All of them were buried in the Michael. Now, in the Gabriel too, Acts in the Gabriel is the head. There is another in the Gabriel now. What all the follower that is working with in the Gabriel to their home here in the Gabriel. Are you listening to me? Now listen to me. In the Raphael also have his own work, something like that. Now listen to me. When the war wanted to break out in heaven, in heaven, there is this part of in the Michael's followers join hand with the devils. Part of in the Gabriel followers join hand with the devil. Part of in the Jure follower join hand with the devil. And they rule they fight in the host of heaven until in the acts in the market defeated all of them and sent them out of heaven. So that is why when you say in the market, be specific. Be specific because they are different in the market. We have the in the market that fell with the devil, not acts in the market, it's not acts, it's angel. So that fell with the devil is also a warrior angel. This particular in the market that fell, when you say in the market, the market be careful. The devil in the market can come, the devil in the Gabriel can come. If you thought that I'm in the market, say which of the angel are you? Is it of the dark side or of the heavenly one? All those here are nests and celestial torches that usually pray in the name of angel. They always say in the market, this and this. Most of them are not going to make it to heaven. Because true, true, they are seeing angels, but the angel they are seeing is of the devils. Especially celestial. 
That is why you ought to be very careful of the kind of angel you, you call up. I have not finished. Now, listen to me very well. Out of these angels, there are people, there are angels that are ranking. Out of, I'm going to mention about one or two of them. There's a particular angel that is called idolatry angel. This idolatry angel is the one in charge. Listen to me very well. Is the one in charge of all idols in the world. In Nigeria, in Yoruba land, there's something, there's, there's an idol they call Orumela. There's an idol they call Ogu. There's an idol they call Shango. There's an idol they call Obatala. And so on and so forth. There's another idol they call uh, Yemoja. Now, this these uh, idols that they talk about in Nigeria, all of them come as a human being. Many of them were born as a human being. Some of them, they say some of them appear into the earth. Some of them, for example, now, there is a particular idol, I think it's a rumula. It came with a rod from heaven. That's what the story said. They say it came with a rod. The rod, a big, the rod is a very big rod, white big rod. He came with it. There's another idol, maybe it's the one. He said he came with a shade. He said he came from heaven and come down to the earth. And he climbed the shade, come down. All those superstitious nonsense. Now listen to me. The same thing, these demons, these idols also are into different, different country like that. We have Krishna. We have uh, uh, Buddha. The Buddhist uh, this thing. We have uh, a different kind of demons to mention them. Now, listen to me. All these demons they come as a human being. Some come down. So they appear physically first. They don't just appear spiritually, no, they first appear physically. But there is a particular demon in charge of them. Is the one sending some of the fallen angels to come back to come to the head, to come and stand as a ghost or as an angels or as anything that the people are worshipping. They are satanic ranking demons. So they make impact demonically into the life of people. That is why people are worshipping them day to day. Now listen to me. It doesn't stop there. This demon is the same demon in charge of anyone taking phone, children, house, wife, husband, Material, material things as idol in their heart. When you love your phone too much that you press it in the morning, you press it in the afternoon, you press it in the night, you always with your phone. You have totally sold your soul to this demon. And this demon does not actually leave people to go like that. When you sold your soul to him, he captures your soul forever. Except you repented and you pray very hard with a lot of fasting before your soul can be delivered. Anyone that takes something as something that is so special into a that is not God, something is number one. You go and sit down and go and think about it. Anything you are doing constantly that is not spiritually, constantly, constantly, constantly. Maybe you are watching film too much, or you are work, taking phone always with your phone, pressing phone always. Or you are always doing particular things constantly and every time. That thing has become an idol in the realm. There is an already idol, an already altar that has been created on that behalf of that thing. That idol has been created in your own name. And that idol 
is connected with this demon. And this demon, you have sold your soul to him. That's why the idol is created on your behalf. Some of you, your idol is your children. You so much love your children that you can't look with them. You so much love them than God. That is your own idol. And there is an altar already raised up on that area. So now, that is the reason why anyone that has anything in his heart, that has anything in his heart, that is not of the Lord, that is a particular thing you honor so much, that person are already a worshiper of the idol. That's another one. Now, there is another demon I saw in that place. That demon is called the demon of technology, worldliness, and stuff. This demon is the one, I said it earlier, is the one these white people are consulting. You see what? They are people that are spiritually technologized. In the sense of they have the knowledge of what is new things to happen. That God gifted them. These people have no problem. But they are this new, new thing that is coming out like uh, chemistry of a thing, physics of a things, uh, how the things are happening, all those kind of things. Ideologies of all those things were coming from the demon world. From this archangel, from this angel demon. Now listen to me very well. There are also demons that is in charge of church. This demon is the demon any churches that is not preaching holiness and worshiping. Or any church that is preaching heresy, they are worshiping. Because the moment you preach heresy, the Holy Spirit leaves your life. God leave that church. Any church that they wear churches, they are Satan church. Don't tell me that the pastor is a wonderful preacher. Any church that they wear a ring, any church that they wear with all, any church that they do preach about pure holiness and righteousness and heaven and hell and the judgment to come and the wrath songs, these souls are satanic and demon run away from it. Don't let their pastor pray for you. There are some of you that you are still praying for pastors. You are still going to uh, uh, different pastors for prayers, for miracles. Be very careful. It, it, no matter how, 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 uh, how, uh, how uh, you know, sound they might be. No matter how eloquent their speech might be. No matter how mysterious things they might be revealing, if they are revealing it inside worldliness, it is not God. Do forget what the Bible says that God shall never have anything to do with flesh or carnality. Anything you do in carnality will be totally rejected by God. If you are a person that believes that God is not looking at your dresses and you, 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 you say God is not, you are totally worshipping this demon. Same here, if you are from Catholic Church, you are what? Worshipping this demon. Because this demon was in charge of Catholic. Catholic Church is never a church of Christ at all from the beginning to the end. Hey, but I know one father, uh, father, uh, this uh, father, this and this is a holiness something. It's God that says he should be there and is worshiping me. Hear me very well. There is a particular demon they called Queen of Heaven. This one is the one that the the the, the Catholic people are worshiping. Queen of Heaven. So be very careful. It's a Mary that they are seeing that they are worshiping. Original Mary that gave birth to Jesus is in heaven resting. 
the one the Catholic people are bowed down for is the this queen of heaven. I saw the queen of the queen of heaven is a beautiful queen, but demonic. Is a part of satanic candidate. Catholic church is a devilish and is is a very corruptible devilish and demonic place that Christians should never go there. Do try it. Do step your feet there. It's too demonic. Don't bring your children to go to school there. It might look free. Do go there. It's demonic. God is not bad yet. From the beginning of that ministry, God is never there. So be very careful. Anyone worshipping Mary is not going to heaven. There is only one way. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Lord of all, the God of God, the Almighty God, Infinite God, Eternity God, Everlasting God, the Counselor, Jesus Christ is the governor of heaven and is the governor of all the Christians. He is the only way to the kingdom of God. Any other way is counterfeit. Any other way is fake. You hear what I said? Any church that worship without covering their hands, their worship without with their body exposed their worship with that holiness and righteousness will run away Smarty do want us to be going around with bugatti lamborghini begin to run around uh, all those kind all those ideas and the knowledge was the cause was was from the kingdom of the darkness and it was because the devils and these angels they have been with God for a very long time they have been in angel for a very they are in heaven for a very long time they know all these kind of things they have seen God with this idea they have seen God doing all, so they have seen everything they know the ideas if you read the books of a uh, 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 Enos, you will see it there how these how, how the demons came to the earth to teach man how to do war. They are the one that taught man how to war, they are the one that taught man how to create by uh, perfume. Uh, uh, what are they calling it today? This perfume for the idol, the one they usually do for the this thing that they see. They are the one that teach man a ritual practice. How to summon angels, how to summon demons. The book six and seven book of books. They are the one that bring, you know, all these kind of things. This magic, how to use magic. They are the one that teach man how to do that so that they can divert their heart from the worship of God Almighty to the devil. Are you getting my point now? So that we don't always say that God, 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 that's why I'm saying it. They are the one that is criticizing my all this thing so that they can divide their heart. Now tell me, why would God create uh, uh, Lamborghini, Bugatti? What is it? Is it is Bugatti worshiping God? If God is going to give us idea, He can give us idea. Okay, way to work with God. Okay, let's create a car for you to be moving around. But He will not create a vehicle that's very high expensive and create a man to be looking for money homies and make man to be looking for how to get money to buy all these expensive cars. That is why even in the Bible it is written, I do not wear things that are expensive. Don't wear them. It's against the kingdom principles and standard. God wants his children to live a moderate life on this earth as a practical example. So that when they get to heaven, 
the Old Testament things and see miraculous things in heaven. But the Bible says, He said, in the latter days, knowledge will white and grow so far. Things will begin to manifest and surface. Technology will advance. People will begin to discover a lot of things. That is a sign of latter days. In latter days. And you know, devil, even in the street door, he imitates God. He, 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 even when I get to this father, he imitates God. The way God set his own kingdom, that is how he set his own kingdom. Because he has been in heaven for a long time. Listen to me. There is nothing that the devil created. But he imitates God in his way. God do his own kingdom. That's how he do his own kingdom too. That's why a Christian has to be very careful which kind of heaven they say they went to. A pastor says something, said, listen to me, say the Lord said I should be wearing high heels. Which God said? As a man, you are wearing high heels. Wearing woman, woman shoe. Woman, woman kukuka. Woman high heels. Somebody say, say God said I should be dressed like a woman. Which kind of God has said that? So we have to be very careful the kind of heaven you went to. That's, that's why you should not say heaven bless you. But how many, we have many heaven. And we have different angels that are operating in the heaven. If you want to bless somebody, mention the name of Jesus Christ. Are you even aware that there is a particular name of bearing Jesus in heaven? We are not going there today. We are not going there today. Are you even aware? Oh. That's why when you are praying in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, there is only one. That's why Jesus Christ of Nazareth mentioned it. Let them know that this one is different. See, the day Satan comes as a light to deceive the people. Be careful, look. Don't be part of them. Run away. Don't be what? Don't be part of them. In the name of Jesus, you will not go to hell. I saw all that demons there, which I will not talk about it now. Probably, I will continue next time. I saw the demons of Muslim, Allah. I saw the demons, different kind of demon. I saw the uh, the the Antichrist demon, the 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 666 Illuminati demons, I saw it. Uh, the, it's, it's under Illuminati demon that television watching is under. Uh, you have to be very careful of watching television, so especially things that are dirty. So, so there, 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 there are a lot of things. I didn't say watch television is a sin, but be careful. Uh, so a lot of demons I saw there that I might know if I continue like this time. Will not as it will not uh, it's not on our side. I pray that God will help us. I will continue the message when God gives me the grace. May the Lord bless you. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel. Share this message to everyone that is alive now so that they can repent. As a Christian, every sin you committed has a demon that controls it. If you commit a particular demon, a sin, believe me, it is because the demon is living inside you. Especially the sin that you usually committed repeatedly. Masturbation, lust, anger, gossip, and so on, and so evil act. Somebody wishes somebody dead. Wishing people to, 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 to have accident. We see people to do uh, a lot of things. Some people are Christian, but their heart is evil. A lot of things like that, like that, like that. So all these kind of things, there are demons. There are demons living inside you. You have to cast it out and tell God to set you free. Otherwise, we end up in hell. May the Lord bless you. Share this message to everyone. I pray you will not go to hell in Jesus' name. Shalom. Shalom.